Hi, welcome back to the Cuzzy Sound channel. And what we're looking at today is the next step in the development of my very simple clock divider. Um, what I've been doing with this project is for each stage I've been wanted to test the theory before I put it all together and hopefully end up with a, a finished complete circuit that operates as a clock divider in my Project 12 modular. Last time round um, I looked at the theory and practice behind building a transistor AND gate in order to get a nice pulse output. Um, so I kind of started at the output end of, of this circuit. But the core of the circuit is going to be based around a 4017 decade counter. So, in order to test the theory about using the 4017, I first breadboarded a, a circuit with um, just a few steps in the counter with some LEDs on, rigged it up to uh, Baby 8, and no audio, just, just looked at how the LEDs from the clock input on the Baby 8 or rather the clock output from the baby 8 onto the input of the 4017 uh, how the LED rate on that compared to the LEDs stepping on the 4017 and uh, so the, this is this is this is um, what are we this is the result um, so you can no sound you can just see the, the LEDs stepping so I then decided that what I would do is wire that up to the synth and put some sound through it and just make sure that um, it worked with audio as well as LEDs. And this was the brief test to make sure that audio passed through it. So once again, um, here it is. Okay, so uh, having proved the, the kind of proof of concept for the 4017 I decided to knock up a circuit and plug it in with, with the rotary switch idea that I had for uh, altering uh, the reset step count um, so this is the circuit diagram that I drew up as you can see it really is just the 4017, uh, a rotary switch and a diode to make sure that the uh, reset goes in the right direction. And this is the strip board layout that I built. Very straightforward, really just, just not a lot of components to it. So this is, this is just this is just testing, like I say, proof of concept. And then I plugged it into Project 12 and ran a, a, um, a sequence from the beat step through it and through the main clock and hey, this is the result. Well, so far, all the proof of concepts have worked to some degree or, or whatever. So I think the next stage now is to put a circuit together that has the 4017 clock divider and the transistor and gate, and then build that, wire that up to the uh, 
Project 12 synth and see what the output from that sounds like. So yeah, please come back again and, uh, and see how I get on.